What's up guys, welcome to another Sage 2016 video. Uh, this one was there last year, but we didn't take a look at it, mostly because we didn't have enough time to look at them all. But this year, we're trying our hardest to play them all, so we're going to look at Bingo the Multiva, which is an original style game as opposed to a Sonic fan game, which is totally fine at Sage if it has that true Sonic spirit, you know, and by true Sonic spirit, I of course don't mean true Sonic spirit, because oh boy those guys, I mean what? Bingo the Multiva, let's go. So you can play as Bingo the Not Chow and Salamon, which is a Digimon. Uh, actually, the pre-evolution of Gatomon, who evolves into Anjuamon. Well, we'll be Bingo for now. Um, I know nothing about this other than that it's a, uh, it's a game, and we're gonna play it. Verdant Valley, Verdant Stage One. So native controller support, very nice. Actually, super. Okay, so okay, so control wise. A is jump, you have a double jump, a flip jump. Circle while running is like the become a ball button, which I actually kind of like being a separate button. We do have a boost on triangle. We have coins. Interesting. Huh. Ooh. Hmm. This is, uh... How do I... Oh. I have a butt... Okay. I have a butt stomp. That changes things. We ducktails. Okay, well, it doesn't always exactly work. Huh. This controls very, very well. I actually really like it. I can definitely feel the Sonic influence. Um, like, you know, you might think, why is this uh, in the Sonic thing? No, 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 fam. It feels like a Sonic game. It actually feels like a very good Sonic game. Because it feels very similar to, like, the Advance Era ones, where you're given a lawn, uh, a lot, not a lawn, a lot of movement options. Because, like, you know, you have the bounce, you have the, the, the spin. I'd almost argue you have too many at right to start off with. Like, it really feels like you can just destroy these stages. Also, those are literally buzz bombers. You can't do that, man. The the physics on the rolling feel good. Um, the way you stop when you get hit, I can see where they're going for. But I can see people being a little a little distraught by that. But stomp that dude or not, that's fine, we don't have to. Huh. I will say, character design-wise, I'm not the biggest fan of Bingo here. Uh, or the name, I find them both to be a little, uh, little childish, which, you know, is kind of dumb. Uh, considering it's obviously meant to be like a, like a, like a game of that era. But, uh, gameplay-wise, this is super solid. And level design is decent too. Let's try Salomon. See how they're like as we go to a Verdant Valley Stage 2. Check out how it goes. Music's good too. I don't know if it's uh, original or not. Okay, so do we have... Um, okay. It feels a bit like uh, that one character from um, Freedom Planet. With that, especially. That, like, that, that arc is a little... A, a little too similar. Now, mind you, unlike that, Mila was no, I for, I forget her name. Um, yeah, I think it's Mila. Um, doesn't control exactly like that character because that character had no movement options. Like, there's you couldn't do the spin. Like, there's no combat options with her. So, whoa, what was that button that I just pressed? Yeah, no. Hmm. Also, the falling sprite. I don't know, man. That's Inspiration is one thing, but I'd almost argue that- Okay, so that's a super jump. Um, I'd almost argue that that's a little too much, you know? Hmm. I mean, it's not a bad way of having the character play, but it's the fact that it's very similar to another Sonic fan game, you know? So that's, uh, that's interesting. I'd have to, uh, do some more direct comparisons and stuff, but, uh, Oh, if you charge it up all the way, it's like a- it's like a Mario 2 style super jump, I see. I don't feel like there's any much danger to getting hit, though. That's one problem I'm noticing, is that it feels like getting hit is just a, uh, why is it slow all of a sudden? I mean, my computer isn't the best, but we'll have to see. Um, getting hit doesn't seem to do much, because you get your health, because you have both health and coins. I think it's more like a Lego system on, 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 on almost, rather, where it's like your, your, your big thing is just wanting to make sure that you don't, um, 
you don't lose your coins, I guess. You know, it's not like a... Yeah, it's definitely some weird slowdown here, which is weird because my computer can usually handle this stuff, so I don't know what's going on. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. But it's it's fast paced, which is good. And I did I did read on on the readme that this is exploration based. Is that a path I just can't go on? Oh no, there we go. So uh, spinning does use a bit of my meter, but like not that much. So that's good. The music really reminds me of Knights here. I do have to wonder if it's original. It sounds original. I've never heard this from anything else. You know, it's like usually if I hear a, a Sonic fan game that uses, uh, you know, a, a reused soundtrack. I'm going to try to get up there. Uh, you can usually hear the influence. Okay, no, so you do still get hurt. Um, so you can usually hear the influence of the other soundtrack there, um, which I'm not really getting here, you know? Okay, I'm not going to get up there. That's fine. Um, so this sounds like an original soundtrack, which is cool. I'm always down for original soundtracks, and it's good, you know? The one thing I will just say is character design-wise, I am I am not a fan of, of the character designs of the main characters. They're not bad. They're just... The word that comes to mind is a little uninspired. Like, the enemies are fine. Now, mind you, the enemies that aren't, you know, like, that's, that's very clearly a buzz bomber, you know. It's like, you, you can't even deny that that's a buzz bomber, you know. In court, that wouldn't be ad admissible. Do I have, like, I have no spin dash at all, it seems like, to go fast. Which is fine, because this character is obviously meant more for vertical movement than horizontal. Okay, so I see. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's my only big complaint. Otherwise, so far, you know, I mean, I guess this this tile said in the background like, could you not add, you know, a few holes showing the outside background? Just a little little something to give you something to look at. Stalactites, because this background is pretty boring. Also, the car sounds the enemies make are a little, a little weird. I'm not sure if I like it. You know, I get they wanted to go with a cave for that, but like this background's beautiful. The parallaxing, it's great, you know? And the fact that the music changes is also wonderful, you know? I do like that. It's a really good start, for sure. Um, I'm, I don't know, it'd be interesting, you know? And it's interesting, because, like, the characters in this are not too different graphically from, say, like, Spark the Electric Jester, which is another game I'm not going to be covering for Sage, because I cover it a lot on my channel, um, on Goodbye. 18,000. Uh, go watch that if you want to see that one covered, because I covered that one multiple times. Um, it's interesting, because I really like the character designs there, and it's not too different. Like, it's the same sort of... Oh. Oh, you can infinite flutter. Um, it's the same style of very flat colors with simple body shapes, and yet I like that a lot. I think it's because that, that one has, like, the three colors, you know, going for it. Where this one seems to have more. So we'll try the next one before going to the boss. Rustic Ruins. Now this, uh, just looking at the, uh, looking at the, the level, like, design, it really reminds me of the second level of Freedom Planet. So, I mean, ruin levels in games are not all, you know, it's, it's common. But just something about how it looks. Ow, I hate that enemy already. That reminds me of a caterpillar that actually bit me in real life, and uh, it sucked because I had like an allergic reaction, and no one in my family believes me. They thought I was making up a story. So that's not fun. Kids, if you get bit by a caterpillar, don't worry, I'll believe you. Okay, is there like no way to hurt him? Okay. You know, playing all these Sonic fan games has made me realize something. I really, really hate Buzz Bombers. Like, every... Out of any Sonic, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, out of any Sonic enemy, I think I really hate Buzz Bombers the most. Like they're just the worst. Just, just their exact trajectory is so terrible, you know. So yeah, I definitely like playing as Bingo more. He's uh, he's a lot more fun. He's a lot more Sonicy, which you, you of course, you want to play with. You know, you you want to be. Okay, can, can you not? Can I? Okay, so I can boost through them. Got it. Okay. Also, I kind of screwed up there. So let's try going down here. I can't butt bounce through there. I hate Buzz Bombers. Also, I nearly hit his projectile after that. Okay, let's try going up here. There we go. Oh my god. Do you see what I mean? 
Okay, I hit a hit a checkpoint. Let's keep going. The 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 jump after the spring is very clearly a Sonic sprite edit, though I gotta say. And I mean, it's fine to use inspiration from. S oh, that's a drastic death animation. It's a little too, little too accurate. Um, it's fine to take inspiration from Sonic, but I do feel like if you want to market something as something original, things like that spring into the the spin is a it's a little too on the nose you know you know what i'm saying uh which it's fine you know again it, it comes down to how much do you want this to be an original thing versus how much do i have to butt bounce off of him nope probably not i don't think i can even get up there that's fine it might just be a preview of an upcoming game mechanic you know show the uh not a fan of running straight into enemies, but okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so it might be a preview of an upcoming game mechanic in the level, you know, just show the, the key and the, um... I am also being very careless, I know. Show the key, show the, um... I swore, I swore I was, I was, I was able to hit him. <coughs> <coughs> oh, of course, hit an, hit a coughing man, that's, that's fine, um... I am being careless, I know. I'm trying to play this pretty quickly. It is Sonic-y, you know, I'm trying to trying to trying to go fast. Miss the checkpoints, like always. It is fun though. And that's the thing, you know? Just just this little level thing. I don't know. I mean if if okay, so yeah, I, I do have this uh this thing. I don't know if if I were to say like if I were to buy it, because it is an original concept, how much I would pay for it. That's a question, you know? I know, uh, ooh, ooh, mini boss. Okay, let's try and butt bounce on his head. Or not. Oh, there we go. We just need to hit him. There we go. Three hits. Not too tough. I say as I got hit multiple times during it. Whoop. I don't know if that was the actual path you're supposed to go, but sure. The levels are long. Which is nice. They're they're well put together, you know. They're graphically they need polish. That's the word. Not so much design, but polish. Also, yeah. Oh, there's a timer there. That's the nicest feature. A timer for an invincibility is way way. That's what something Sonic needs for sure. That's great. Um, also, it seems like you have one fast dash and a slow dash, and I do feel like if... If you are in fast dash, you know, the ability to use the fast dash, there should be some visual cue. Because, like, I, I can't really tell if I can do a fast dash or a slow dash. Um, maybe having just segments on it that would show, like, this is this, you know, if you press the dash button now, you'll do the, the big dash, or this one's just, like, the air dash, you know, so... We'll do the final boss now, uh, Charcoal Caverns versus the Manager. I wonder if this is some, like, you know, some self-insert of, of a boss, perhaps, like an actual boss someone had. I'm gonna miss all those. Nice. Ooh, that's creepy. That's a little creepy. Yeah, it's slightly less creepy now. Oh, yeah. Just a... Okay, whoop, don't jump into that. It's just a big ol' big ol' bat dude. Ow, okay. So the jump, this really reminds me of Freedom Planet, the Dragon Boss. Which I know, not every game is Freedom Planet, but I'm just saying, like, you know, th there's a there's a few key, key similarities. Whoa, he's getting a little tougher. He has desperation attacks. Yeah, I need to be a little careful. Nice, okay. That wasn't too hard at all. Unless he has a second form, which I could actually see. That is a ridiculous amount of explosions. <laughs> nice. Okay. Boss is a little easy. A little easy. Okay. Well, guys, this was uh, Bingo the Multiva. Honestly, when I saw this demo, I was a little like... Eh, I didn't know. I Like, it looked a little uninspired to me. 
And I guess that, it, just because that comes down to the character designs. That's my only big flaw with this is I do feel the character designs are pretty poor. Gameplay wise, it's good. Level design wise is good. Level aesthetics could use polish, but otherwise it's a super fun sort of um, demo, you know, peek into the future. And I do look forward to seeing what Bingo does in the future. Thank you all for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time for some more Sage videos. Ciao!